G'day guys, Michael from Mad RC. I had a couple of questions about the three position switch for the BGL 6G flight controller. And by default, the setup that I had in the previous video was just to assign the switch, which put the return to home mode in the top, stabilization off, stabilization off in the middle, and the auto level or stabilization at the bottom. And a few people wanted to switch that around, and what I'm going to do is show you how to assign new values to that switch. So I'm going to use my ASW here. And on the inputs, I have the return to home there. And what I'm going to do is edit that. I'm going to add the a custom function and that's going to be curve 1 and we'll assign the values to curve 1 in a moment. On the mixer, go back, on the return to home we're going to do the same thing. Custom Curve one. And now we're going to assign some values to curve one. So curve one here by default has five points. The first thing I want to do is change that to three points for one for each position. And then for minus one, which is at the top, I want to change that to zero. So I'll leave that at zero. In the middle position, which is currently off at zero, I want to change that to 100 to make that the auto level or stabilized mode. And then that leaves the third position at the bottom. I want to make that minus 100, which will give it a return to home. So that's it. Now, except that I have also assigned a voice function. I can quickly update those as well. Uh, GPS mode now will be at the bottom. So we can edit that switch so that's GPS at the bottom. Stabilization on. GPS mode. And in the middle now, stabilize off will be at the top. So we want that to be Stabilize off at the top. And the final position in the middle will stabilize on. Stabilize on. And now Amber is telling us the correct position. So we can have a look at that on the monitor. And so here, five in the bottom position is now minus 100 instead of plus 100. Stabilization, on. Stabilization at the other end of the scale Stabilization on. and a zero value at the top. So I hope that's helped you out guys. If you have any questions about how to change that switch allocation, hit me up in the comments and I'll try and help. Thanks very much.